Hey everybody, this is Nick from QBM. And on this video, we're going to go ahead and uh, walk you through some of the camera configuration settings. So the first thing you'll need to do is log into a user that has the rights to change settings amongst the cameras. Uh, typically an admin user or someone with that level of authority. And then we'll go down to our bubble menu on the bottom right. And we'll go to the third one from the left, and you'll see a little hammer and a little screwdriver. And we'll click on that. That's our configure settings tab. And we'll go to system configure up top. And if you look over here, we'll see camera configuration. This F9 right here is a shortcut, so you can hit F9 from your keyboard to get here a little bit quicker once you're familiar with the shortcuts. Okay, so if we look up here, we're on camera one. You can even change the camera's name from here. And now if you look up at camera one on the top left, you'll see our name that we've established. Okay, so when you see on the top left, you'll see sometimes the camera turn reddish, pinkish to yellow. What that's doing is telling you that there's motion or not motion. So let's go back into our camera configuration settings. System configure, camera configure. Back on our test camera, we'll go ahead and change it back to camera one. Okay, right here under the record video record control tab, what that's asking you to do is what kind of recording you'd like it to do. Motion detect, round the clock, day and night. We typically leave it on motion detect so that we can save footage and it's easier to find events where something actually is happening within your view log. Down below that you'll see the motion detection settings. You can turn your sensitivity up and down from there and that will actually trigger the motion to be more sensitive or less sensitive to things moving within the environment. Underneath that you'll see what's called as a mask filter. What that allows you to do is mask out zones within the view of your camera so that they will not be recording motion. This is pretty helpful in, in stores or, or restaurants where uh, sometimes there'll be a television screen showing advertisements in the background flashing from image to image or a fan turning or uh, someone puts up de decorations and, and one moves and that'll trigger motion around the clock and what that does is it eats up a bunch of unnecessary uh, space on your hard drive and it makes it impossible to find singular events where recordings are happening because it's recording around the clock so if you go over to the right and see this little box with the plus you'll click on that and that will allow you to mask a privacy zone from your motion and just drag out the size of your square that you want there you go if you look now I'll put my hand into the screen and you'll see the little running man right there what that's showing you is that there is motion to record if I get outside of that zone, it turns off. See how I'm inside the privacy zone with my finger? Finger up, record. Finger down, motion not happening. And you can go ahead and chew away at the square you've created with the minus feature. What that allows you to do is edit around certain things and make the shape of your privacy square the size that you actually need in case some of that area is where someone passes through or you just need it to be recording from that point of view so now I'm in motion there we go this X to the right will get rid of that zone altogether now we're back on recording fully through our camera screen now some of these settings are a little deeper than you guys will probably want to get into so we'll go ahead and save those for a later date. But if we go up to the top right over here, we'll see our video attributes tab. What that allows you to do is actually change some of the picture within the camera as far as brightness, 
contrast, saturation, and hue. So you can go ahead and drag that bar up and down and watch the video get darker and brighter. We have this one set right now to about 120, 130. And it doesn't make a huge difference in that point in your contrast. You typically don't want that very high at all, saturation and hue. And some of this is the advanced settings to, to set to set different levels of those features as well. And that is how you do some of the more simple and, and basic steps within the camera configuration. Thank you for viewing, guys.